Hi, welcome back to another informative video where we discuss things about saving, investing, stock market, and a lot of practical tips that you can use to improve your way of living. Today's video, I want to share with you the most common Filipino money problems. Ayan, napakaganda ng ano, napakaganda ng topic natin today. I feel like you guys enjoy these types of topics where in I do listicles of things or tips or anything. Basta yung nakalisticles na ganito, parang you guys enjoy watching it. So sabi ko, sige, I'll release and prepare one for you. So pag-usapan natin yung most common Pinoy money problems. Sa community namin dito, hindi naman din kami sa isang magandang lugar na katira. Average lang. So, itong mga bagay na na-observe ko, yun din yung isi-share ko. And most definitely, gets nyo yung mga imi-mention ko dito. Number one would be, baon sa utang. Ano bang reason ba't nababaon ng taon sa utang? In short, hindi enough yung um, kinikita niya para dun sa pangangailangan niya. Kaya siya na siya short, ang ending, utang siya. Or, may emergency na nangyari. Siyempre, di mo naman maiiwasan niya na. Nagkasakit si ganto, kailangan ibig si ganto. So, ang ending, mag-ungutang ka to fend for those emergency needs. I think having debts all boils down to the person not being prepared for that specific occasion or for that specific situation. Whenever you are faced with debts, you'll have a hard time moving forward with your life because uh, at the end of the day, lagi kang sisingilin nung pagkakautang na yun. So, if you are also in that position, by the way ha, para lang hindi, hindi siya magmukhang off, Nang, nang galing din kami sa ganun. I think for the past 5 years yun, 5 or 6 years, talaga nagplan ako paano kami makaka-recover. So, tulong-tulong para makarecover kami. So, if you are in that position, I am the one telling you na kaya mo yan. But then, it would be a whole lot of sacrifice for, not just for you, but for your family. Kasi, it's a mindset, it's a goal that all of you should have kami nun. Um, Tinrain talaga kami ng parents namin na kailangan magtulungan tayo para matapos natin lahat ng problema natin. And true enough, it happened. After six years, we were able to pay off all pay off all our debts. So, if you are in that position as well, please don't ever lose hope because we are all given equal 24 hours to fulfill our goals, to make up for our mistakes, and to recover. Don't ever feel bad with the position that you have. I'm telling you, I'm also in that position um, seven years ago. At napakasarap sa pakiramdam nung araw na natapos na namin siya. Kasi medyo malaki siya. Medyo malaki siya. So, huwag kang maghihinaan ng loob. If baon ka sa utang, there's still a way out. But you have to sacrifice. And again, it's a mindset that all of your family members should have. Bawal yung isang may pabigat. Bawal yung may isang hindi tutulong. Bawal yung isang hindi makakapag, makikikooperate. Hindi pwedeng ikaw lang. Hindi pwedeng isa lang yung nag-iisip. Dapat lahat. Okay? So, I think that's one of the most common naman talaga. Yung pagiging utang na ganyan na baon talaga. Next, mahilig sa handaan. Hindi ko ba alam. Sobra talaga. Buti na lang hindi ako pinalaking ganto. Even sa mga friends ko, alam ko yun yung buhay ng mga friends ko na meron ako. Pero, paano nila nagagawang mag-splurge ng ganun kabongga? Every time na may birthday ako, parang gusto ko lang talaga may cake. Regardless if it's just a simple cake, gold deluxe man yan, or red ribbon. As long as on my birthday, I have a cake, happy na ako. But before, yung wala naman kami means to actually buy things like those, wala, okay lang kahit wala. As in, okay lang kahit wala, dead ma. Pero now that I can, I make it to a point na ma-fulfill ko yung gusto ko, which is just a cake. Nothing more. Yun na. Yun lang yung gusto ko. Uh, wala nang something splendid that I have to invite people over. Wala lang ganun. Ever. Walang ganun. Yun lang talaga yung gusto ko. So, um, I think it's very important that you limit yourself from having these occasions na isang beses lang naman mangyayari. It's very important na kung meron ka mong pinaghahanda ng isang bagay, Work within that budget lang. Huwag ka nang mag-exceed. Kung hindi talaga kaya ng 30 na katao, baka kaya lang 10. Baka pwedeng hanggang 10 lang muna. Mahirap kasi na matrain yung bata na ano siya, na mahilig siya sa mga handaan or magarbong mga ganito. Kasi pag nasanay yan, 
tuloy-tuloy. Ako kasi hindi kami sinanay ng gano'n. Kaya tingnan mo hanggang ngayon, wala lang sa akin. Dead ma. Wala, wala kaming ano ko, my birthday or what. We are just thankful for that day. Um, that, that we were born into this world. But, hindi kami yung tipong magsisplurge or magkakaroon ng sama ng loob. Para doon. I'm telling you, when I turned 18 years old, yung um, birthday ko na dapat mag-debut yun, di ba? Nag, nasa, naghahanap akong trabaho. I was in Ortigas looking for a job when I turned 18. Sabi pa nga nung guard sa akin, Mom, kakaano mo lang ha? Kakaitin mo lang ha? Dito ka agad ha? Sabi niya sa akin, natawa pa siya. Oo, kuya eh. Sabi ko, kailangan. Sabi ko dun sa guard. And yeah, that was when I was 18 years old. Kaka-birthday ko lang. Naghahanap ako ng trabaho sa call center sa isang BPO sa Ortigas. <laughs> Kasi tagapasig lang ako eh. So, yun. Next. Um... Ito ha, I don't think this is a uh, money problem, but gearing towards to dun eh, yung ano, lo- lack of family pl- planning. Siyempre, pag wala kang plani- family planning, ang ending, anak ka ng anak. Ang ending nun, wala kang mapakain sa mga anak mo, now, lahat na kayong burden. Kasi, um, ikaw mismo naging burden ka dun sa anak mo, at ikaw din iniisip mo na burden yung anak mo. I feel like um, having kids is a blessing, but before you go towards that parang dream of settling down. Always make sure that you have a goal, that you are stable. Ang hirap gawing burden yung bata. Tapos gagawin mong retirement plan, di ba? Ganyan yung mga isipan ng mga matatanda. Oh, magtrabaho ka pa ganito, mag-aral ka ganyan-ganyan. Pero ikaw na magulang, you were not able to really build up. Have, yung maging mabuting ehemplo dun sa bata. So, I feel like it's, it's a money problem, yung lack of um, family planning because ang ending nun, kawawa kayo as a family. Kasi yun nga, magiging burden, feeling mo burden yung anak mo, pero ikaw din, nagiging burden ka din dun sa anak mo. So, it's a vicious cycle na kailangan mong i-end. So, kung ikaw, ganun ka din, um, wag naman sana kasi kawawa naman. Again, poverty lies in series. And ito yung cycle talaga kasi hindi mo bigla-biglang mababali yung poverty. Talagang napapamana ang kahirapan. So, don't ever be in that position na ganun. Planuhin mo habang maaga. Okay lang naman kung meron kang age or kinogoal. Pero baka mamaya pwedeng isang anak lang. Or baka mamaya you guys are married, pero you'll wait for 2 to 3 years before kayo mag- um, anak. Yung mga ganun. Kasi may mga friends din akong ganun na maaga nagpakasal pero wala silang anak. Diba? Kasi gusto pa nila maging ano, financially stable. They still have plans. But that doesn't mean na ayaw mo magpakasal or magsettle dun sa taong gusto mo talaga makasama. I think that's always valid. Pero ang mahirap dun is yung magdadala ka ng bata sa mundo. Ikaw mismo hindi ka pa okay sa life na meron ka. yon <laughs> And then, next, um, Ito, kinukonsider ko din to as money problem at tingi-tingi. Hindi naman siguro ito maiiwasan sa culture nito sa Pilipinas. At whenever you buy um, or purchase anything ng patingi-tingi, ang laki talaga ng nagagastos mo. Imagine, yung packaging niya, yung brand niya, lal- babayaran mo yun sa worth 7 pesos, pero ang value lang naman talaga yung laman ng sa shape, 3 pesos. So, yung 4 pesos na gastos dun sa branding, sa packaging, sa pagdidistribute dun sa patong ng distributor. I, we were also in that position na tingi-tingi. And now, I realize that when we buy in bulk, mas maglaki yung natitipid namin. But, hindi naman kasi kanong kadali, may mga pamilya rin na hindi kaya. I just put it here because I wanna emphasize that kung lalo na, kung ikaw is start ka, tanggalin mo yung patingi-tingi system. Ako, on a monthly basis, yung mga kailangan ko, yung mga girl needs ko, mga shampoo, conditioner, etc. I buy in big sizes talaga. Laging biggest size yung binibili ko. At laging maramihan yung pagkuha ko. Ganon. Kasi it saves you time, effort, and transportation. And then lastly, ito ang pinakakalungkot sa lahat. It oil boils down to ang Pinoy. Kaya siya maraming problema sa buhay kasi wala siyang ipon. Yan ang pinakamasaklap. Um, when we went through a huge family problem years ago. Wala kami kaipon-ipon. Tumatak sa isip ko, hindi ko gagawin to sa family ko in the future. That's why sobrang 
ganun na ganun ako sa pera. Sobrang kipit ko sa pera. Sobrang kulipot ko sa pera because I would never want to be in that position and I don't want to place or put my kids in that position. Kapag ako na, if it's my time to build my own family. That's why I'm doing all the things that I can para lang, alam mo yun, to have a good life, not just for my family, but for my future kids. Kasi, Sayang naman na naranasan mo na yun at hindi ka doon matututo. That's why I put up this platform para I can share my journey and that maybe if I have kids five years from now, they'll be able to watch that their mother is responsible enough to actually work um, work for their future. Alam mo ganun? So, I wanted this platform to be, to be an avenue para lang maliit na channel na nakikipagchikahan lang ako. No expectations if it'll grow or not. But it's more of me um, working on this journey. Kung panoorin man o hindi, that's fine. Kung kumita man o or hindi, that's fine. Pero yung makikita ko yung progress ko. And sometimes whenever I sleep, alam niyo ba yung kapag nag natutulog kayo and you are on Instagram and you just check and browse through your feed, you will see that you went to this place um, two to three years ago. Ako, I want YouTube to be that aspect in my life or in if I wanna go back on the learnings that I was able to learn itong year na to o itong month na to, parang ang sarap lang balikan. And yun nga, if I'll have kids, they'll be able to watch this and they'll know that I am responsible enough and I worked hard, I worked really hard to be where they are. Yung ganon. So, ayun. Those are the most common Pinoy money problems and... Etong mga to, baliin niya to. If you have time, hindi ako pinanganak na mayaman. Pinanganak lang akong average. I swear. Talagang ang hirap. <laughs> and I think it's it all boils down to discipline. So, kung meron man dito, unang-unan dapat kong baliin would be yung walang ipon. Kasi ang hirap talaga ng buhay na walang ipon. Lalo na ngayong pandemic. So, ayun. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And if you want more, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye!